everybody, it is your girl Sincerely Dre, and I'm back today with another video. So, y'all already know from Tie Down Below, your girl is doing another wig review, but not just any wig review. Today we are going to be trying out a Shein wig review. You know, I saw the girls doing this. It's becoming a little trend. And you know, I have to try it as a Shein camp ambassador myself. So with that being said, if you are about to shop on Shein real quick, just a little put a little plug in there. Go to the description box down below. I will have a link down there along with my code. If you ever shop on Shein, use my reference code so you're able to save a little bit of change on your order and you're able to support my channel and get more videos just like this. So let's hop right into the wig that I got. So I'm having this bag. The bag is huge, that's only because I got other stuff in it, but it wasn't a whole lot enough to do like a review or like a haul for y'all, but yeah. So the bag's already open. But it came like this. Um, so just like in a clear little bag. And then it has like the usual Shein stuff on it. And this just says like the specs of it or whatever. And I believe all this is right. I'm gonna look over here real quick just so I can tell y'all what the specs are of this wig. And I'll also leave a link down below along with the code just in case the link doesn't ever work. You're able to use that code and put it in the search bar on Shein. You'll be able to find this. Um, But basically I got a four by four lace front, which is not a lace front but a four by four lace closure wig it's supposed to be short curly and it's supposed to also be human hair um it's supposed to be 150 percent density and it's supposed to be 12 inch so if you didn't just hear what i just said it's supposed to be human hair and you already know i haven't i've never tried human hair or human hair wig on this channel before or even a lace closure wig i think on this channel before ever at all so this is gonna be my first time so y'all i mean i know what's going on because y'all already know i don't even know wigs like that for real, for real and i don't even know the difference between fake and human to like really be able to take out this rubber knot but that's not the point so it looks like this um it doesn't have any sort of off-putting smell um this is weird, I'm smelling hair. But um, it doesn't have any crazy off-putting smell, but because it's human hair, based off of what I hear the girls saying online all the time, you should be washing it. So I don't think that should be an issue after washing it. But it just comes within this little net and it has this color. I'm not sure what like the specific color code is for this because it doesn't say on the Shein listing or whatever. But it also comes with this in it. You take that out and this is what she looks like so she's a little curly wig this looks way shorter than i oh <laughs> y'all i'm tripping but this looks way shorter than what i thought it would look like but i mean i don't really know this what am i trying to say I don't really know the length and stuff of hair because like when you buy a synthetic wig units and stuff, you just buy in the unit. It don't really, I don't really, me personally, I don't pay attention to the length. So yeah, um, but let me show you the cap construction real quick. Um, There are three combs in the front or one in the front, two on like the sides up or at the top and then one in the back. It also comes with a little lace in the back, so I guess like if you ever want to put it in a ponytail or something, you could. Um, but I'm not really sure how well that would work, considering the fact that like that's just a track right there. I don't know if y'all could see, but it's not like a lace front where like it's hand knotted. Like that's just a track. So I probably I wouldn't suggest putting it in a ponytail without like a headband or something. Um, and then the front, this is the closure part that you get, which is supposed to be four by four. It looks pretty decent. And then this is what the lace is looking like. She's pretty light skin. She's pretty, pretty light skin, but I guess with some tinting, we're gonna have to make it work. But she is very light skin and the knots are like pretty much out there. For real, for real, I don't know if y'all can see, but I don't know, so 
I'm going to be, this is my first human hair wig unit, like I told y'all before. So we're going to be going on this journey together if you're also new to wigs. Or if you aren't new to wigs, leave me some advice down below on what I should do next time because this is not the last human hair wig that y'all be seeing on this channel. I've already bought a couple more, not from Shein, but I've already bought a couple more. So there's more on the way. So definitely leave me any advice that you have down below. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. So the next thing I'm going to do on this is just to shampoo and condition it because it should be shampoo and condition after you're getting it from the factory or wherever it comes from and we'll see how this color does it's pretty different for me because y'all know i don't really try i don't try too too many different colors but i'm going to shampoo condition it and i'm gonna let it air dry so y'all probably won't see me again for some time i'll probably show y'all me shampoo and condition it and then we'll jump right back into whenever I decide to style, plug it, put it on my head, all that sort of stuff. So follow me over to the sink real quick and we gonna shampoo this thing thing up and we'll go from there. Okay, y'all, so we moved on over to the sink. I started off by washing my hands and then just taking some time to fully drench the hair in some water. It's just to make sure everything was wet and also because I was just really interested to see the curl pattern and all of that. So I'm starting off with just going through the hair, finger detangling with some shampoo. Y'all, I think it's Tresemme shampoo. I can't really give a recommendation for it though because literally this was just a set that was sent to me by a brand. I've never used it in my natural hair. So I'm not gonna necessarily recommend it, but that's just what I used for the wig for this time. One thing I will say, and y'all will hear me talk about this later on in the end, is that there was a lot of shedding with this unit, but I mean, you did get it from Shein and it didn't cost that much. So kind of like, what are you expecting? But yeah, there was a lot of shedding while shampooing and conditioning. I also made sure I went on the other side and shampooed the lace just cause, child, you don't know, a lot of people be returning stuff to Shein and I can't be putting no crazy stuff on my head. So I just had to make sure I shampooed thoroughly everything. And now I'm going in with some conditioner, just doing the same stuff, going through the hair and then just finger detangling it. I didn't end up using that wet brush that you all see to the side, but just finger detangling worked perfectly fine for this unit. I had no issues with tangling or any of that. So you should be fine washing it by hand as well. Oh, well, I guess I did end up using it. Y'all, I'm doing this voiceover months after washing this video or months after making this video. So don't mind me. I thought I didn't use it, but clearly I did at the end. After washing it, I just laid it down on that um, towel and then I put it on the mannequin head to air dry. I didn't use a blow dry or anything. So now you're going to see me. I'm going through and this is my attempt at plucking. Y'all don't judge me. Once again, y'all know this is my first time doing it any of this sort of stuff this is my first human hair wig all of that so if y'all have any suggestions let me know down below but this is just my attempt to pluck a little bit and make a little bit more of a natural hairline to it and yeah so i didn't really have any sort of direct technique i was just taking what i've heard from other people so basically i just went through and section different parts of it of the front of the hair and I would just take a little bit out of each section that I took out so nothing too specific but just taking a little bit out of each section just to make it look a little bit more natural than what it looked like before
okay now so this is me fully done plucking the whole entire unit now i'm just gonna go through and tint and cut off the front of this lace or the back of the lace because they had that weird back lace for some reason and i'm just gonna tint it now i think i cut it off later when applying it but just tinting it with my even lace tint that i always use i get that from the beauty supply and now i'm gonna go to putting it on my head so i already have my wig cap on and i'm using this wig grip y'all don't ask me if wig grips actually work because i don't really know if they really work but it makes me feel good so <laughs> i'm using a wig grip and then i just applied it on my head to see what it was looking like this is when i realized that y'all i really do got a big head because this wig was just not fully fit in my head so it's really not on the back of my head which y'all see me talk about later but this cap is not made for our big headed girlies. I'm so, so, so sorry, but you could still make it work. I still made it work. Just know that you won't be able to fully get like the whole feel for the wig with a bigger head like me. I went in and I used some of the black even lace spray to hold and secure it down for this one, which worked pretty well for it. And you just see me letting it air dry instead of using like anything else. Nicely, me trying to get some of that lace into the glue by using that comb just to get the glue and the lace all bonded together along with all my skin. So I didn't have much issues with blending the lace to my skin. There wasn't any big issues except on the sides of the frontal where the lace was sort of like doubled layered or whatever the case may be. But other than that, I had no issues with blending the front of that lace. Y'all, if the cap size of this wig was just a little bit bigger, this would have been a perfect unit to go in with. So now I'm pulling out the big guns and I'm using my fan. I love using my fan to get the glue to, I guess, adhere and bond or dry it, I guess is the word, properly. It just makes the whole morning routine of getting your wig down fly by super easy so this is me just restarting oh bless you bless you girl but this is just me restarting with putting the wig down because i didn't like where i had it originally Okay, so now I'm picking my part. I decided to do a side part with this because I don't tend to do parts all the time. But I was like, mm, let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it's going to give the girls. And I don't know. I like the side part. I also do like the middle part. So who knows? And this is where I was also just testing it out. Because with combing, doing all that plucking, I lost some of the texture in the front. And I really want to give curls to the girls. So I'm just using water to get those curls back. Now you see me going through and I'm just trying to make some edges just to blend some of the hair a little bit more. If you've seen me in any of my other wig videos, you know that I'm personally not the biggest fan of edges, but I have noticed that when you do edges, it helps with making your lace just blend in a little bit more. So sometimes I go through and just do a little slight something with the edges, but nothing too crazy. Once again, going in with some even um edge control y'all i'm not sponsored by even but i just tend to always gravitate towards their products it seems like it works a lot so that's the only reason why y'all see me always using even now i'm just going in with this sort of wax stick just to get all the hair going in the same direction because with plucking sometimes you have like short little strands and they just wasn't being really trying to say hey to everybody in the world who just got to waxing back down going back through with some more water to get those curls reactivated and this is the look that i decided to go with okay y'all so i'm finally done styling the sheet and wig and i have a couple pros and cons i think i would say or i don't know if it's pros or cons but i have a couple things i like a couple things i didn't like so to start off um you can see i had i washed the wig you already saw that before i washed the wig a couple days ago y'all know i'm in college so y'all see new setup if y'all like this up let me know because i've never recorded in this room 
since being in school so if y'all like the way that this looks let me know if this even gets out before i leave school <laughs> but um a couple things is i washed it it did very well washing and it dried pretty fast as well i just let it i'm so sorry okay but it did very good with washing and it dried really fast as well when i was done washing it y'all saw i put it on a towel and then i took a shower so it was on the towel for maybe like an hour or so and then i put it on this mannequin head that you can't really see and it dried pretty quick it's just i didn't have the time to fix it up until now um but yeah it dried pretty quick i will say if you saw in that washing video and even still now this unit sheds a lot um i mean it is a curly unit but like when i was washing it i was pulling out so much hair and i wasn't washing it with a um wide tooth comb or with anything i was just using my hands because i forgot a comb back at the house and i didn't want to buy another one so that's a lot of hair to be coming out if i'm just finger detangling it so yeah whatever but i mean it is a sheen wig and i didn't pay a hundred dollars for it. i think i paid like 90 or 80 something for it so it wasn't too crazy so i mean like you pay for quality sort of thing um outside of that i think that was the biggest issue there is a smell to it now i'm noticing i know i didn't say there was smell earlier but after washing it and i'm not sure because that was also my first time using that shampoo and conditioner so it could just be the smell of the shampoo and conditioner but there is a smell to this it's not terrible but i can tell like maybe if it gets hot i'll probably smell it and it's not it's not the worst it's just like distinct it's like oh okay i can smell my hair <laughs> sort of thing um but yeah i do like the i like the color in this and i know i said like Ugh. And I know I said that I probably wouldn't like it, but I think it's because I'm not sure if y'all saw it earlier, but I was wearing, um, in between when I made this first video for this and now I've been wearing this unit, this butter lace unit. Um, so maybe since I was already wearing color, now it's just like, I'm a little bit more used to the color and I'm like, okay, yeah, it's fine. So I like the color. I also thought that the length would be an issue because when I saw it, I was just like, um, this is a bit too short. Like I even told my mom, I was like, mom, um, I'm just letting you know, I got this wig and it looks like something you would like. So if I don't like it, you're going to have it. But now I do think I like it because the length on, it does come to a good length. Like it's not too short and I thought it was going to be short because y'all know I haven't tried yeah, I haven't tried any really short units yet. Like I had the curly one from last year, the other butter lace, but that one was still pretty big and I cut that just a little bit. But this is the shortest unit that I've had and it's not too bad because it comes to shoulder length. So it's not like giving me far quad or anything like that. It's really cute. Um, I haven't of course, I, mm, oh my gosh. I haven't of course tried to like flat iron it or anything but i do think that this is human hair like i said this is my first human hair unit so i'm not sure how like a blend would feel compared to this or not but it does give me human hair like y'all saw i just put some water on it to reactivate some of the curls that got taken out while i was plucking and combing through it and all that sort of stuff but um i'm not sure if i will um flat iron this because it is a sheen unit and i'm just i'm just scared I'm scared it might mess up. And this is also my first human hair unit as well. So I'm just scared. But if I do flat iron or anything, of course, I'll make a video for y'all. Um, but yeah, so far, I do like it. I think it's very nice. Some issues that I thought I would have is the knots. Y'all, the knots look super huge. And I was getting like so kind of like nervous to wear this because y'all know I'm still new. I'm not ready to be bleaching no knots. I'm not ready for none of that. And I don't go home for another um like a week or two or whatever so when no bleaching and no knots gonna happen and i was over wearing the wig that y'all originally saw me doing in this video i've been wearing that since january it's february end of february finna be march so i'm done wearing that and i was like okay this is the wig like this is what i'm supposed to be wearing so i need to put it on and i was just like okay if i have the knots it's gonna be crazy but i tinted the lace with the even y'all said that earlier and I mean, it's doing pretty good, at least in the front. Like, it doesn't look too, too crazy to me. Y'all tell me. Y'all know, y'all may know more about wigs than I do. So y'all let me know. But I think personally, from someone who's just coming from wearing synthetic units, I think that it's okay for me. Like, at the end of the day, it is not my hair. So like, but um, I do like it. The lace didn't give me any crazy issues. I'm not sure if y'all saw, but since this is a closure unit, um i cut off like where the 
closure ends in the track start only because like that part was a little bit thicker and it was just hard to lay down so i just cut it off because i mean it's the end of the closure anyway like that little pit that little piece of lace ain't helping me so yeah now that i'm thinking about that one thing that i will say that is an issue y'all if you are someone with a bigger head this unit is not for you and I know it's not for you because like if y'all have watched any of my other wig videos, y'all know I do consider myself to be a part of the bigger headed community and low hairline community as well. I'll get to that. But this unit is not big head friendly. Like right now, it is not all the way up in the back. I don't know if y'all can see, but like it's, it's not a whole lot. But basically if I wanted to put these in the ponytail or anything like that, even though you really shouldn't, I wouldn't be able to because it's showing in the back. And on top of that, because if you are someone with a low hairline, this unit probably will also not be for you. Because if the unit is already small and the cap size ain't big enough, you can't like really customize. Like I've been watching other videos because I know from wearing my synthetic units that I do have a low hairline. So I'm like, okay, what do you do? Just prep myself for what I could have done. And even if I could have customized the unit, like this wig probably would have been all the way up here or something because like it's just, it's too small. So that's why you see my edges are out, but I mean, it is a closure unit, so the edges probably would have been out anyway. But yeah, so I have my edges out and all of that, but um, I will say it probably won't be like the most comfortable or anything like that. It's not full coverage for someone with a bigger head or with someone with a lower hairline. Just expect for some of your hair to be out as well if you have a lower hairline or a bigger head like how I do. <laughs> Sorry. But um, I said that like I did make it work. It is a curly unit and it is a closure. So this side is covering up all of this. So you can't see that all my hair is out <laughs> over here because it's a closure unit. And this side, you also, you can kind of see my edges right there, but you can't really see too, too much after that. Um, but I did want to make sure that I said that unit is not the biggest cap size in the world. Other than that, I didn't really have much problems with this unit. It's just that it sheds a whole lot and it has a slight smell um, and the cap size is a little too small. I said that I pretty, I really do like the unit. I think I will, I won't, I don't think I will be wearing this. Um, and y'all probably also see some pictures with this as well because I am going to an event tomorrow, which is why I was like, no, I got to sit down and put this wig on my head. But um, I do like it. I will say the lace, although it looked really light earlier, it took the tint spray really well and it took an adhesive really well. Like, I don't know if y'all saw, I replaced the lace like five times and it's still sitting down. Like it blended really well, it melted. And you could go in if you wanted to with um, an elastic band, but I didn't just because like, I'm really just slapping this on and I just, I covered this whole side anyway. Like what's the point of trying to melt it when everything out on the side? Um, but yeah, if y'all have any tips or tricks that y'all want to let me know, tell me down in the comments down below because y'all know I'm trying to learn more about this. And like I said, there is going to be more human hair units coming out very soon for y'all. I literally just got one in the mail yesterday, but that unit's not for like a month or two from now, but I got another one coming soon. So if y'all have any tips or tricks, let me know down below because I'm really excited to start venturing off into human hair units. I'm getting out of college and... I'm getting a little bit more bank in the bank and I'm trying to, I'm trying to elevate. I'm trying to grow up, you know, be on my girl woman. So follow me on Instagram, I'm Sarah G so you can see more of me because of course I post on there way more often and you'll be able to see more of how this unit holds up along with any other wigs or anything I wear way before it comes on YouTube because me being in school, sometimes it's hard to get the videos out on time, but yeah. Also make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when another video comes out because you know there's going to be more natural human hair units coming up soon and we're going to be doing some cool stuff with it as well so you don't want to miss out on that and before we leave i just want to plug it once more if you are interested in buying this wig from shein or any other thing on shein make sure you use my reference code that will be down in the description box below and i'll put it on the screen as well you can add that to your account and every single purchase that you make from here on out will support me and this channel and will also give you a discount on your order and remember that i love you all so 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 much and my name is sincerely dree and i'll see you on the next video bye